and welcome to this video everyone. Generative AI has been the talk of the town and sure we know what it broadly is about but is this hype real? Will it actually transform our lives in the near future? So if I ask you to explain it in simple words, you would say it's a technology that helps in generating or creating content which could be either text, audio or video. All you do is just input a prompt and you get an output that's completely new rather than just an analysis of what already exists and it is generated out of what the tool has learned from all the data that's fed into it. Generative AI tools have literally set things on fire. It truly is a disruptive technology. So will human creativity and problem solving skills go extinct? Let's find out in this video about how generative AI will transform our lives in 2023. The first question to ask here is why has generative AI gone so viral? The endless possibilities with AI were never unknown. However, now that generative AI has unlocked the potential to create realistic and impressive outputs that were previously only possible through human creativity, has actually led to the surge in interest in generative AI. Now before we actually dive into discussing how generative AI has the potential to transform our lives, let's look at some basics. How does generative AI even work? Generative AI uses machine learning algorithms, specifically a process called generative modeling, to generate new data, be it text, image, video, or even codes. The way it works is by first teaching the algorithm on a big set of data to learn the patterns and features of the data. This process is called training. After the algorithm learns from the data, it generates new data that is similar to the original data. Magical, right? With generative AI, the possibilities are endless. It could be used to create realistic images and videos of anything you could imagine. It could even generate new text like news articles and product descriptions. Imagine a machine creating a whole new world just by being fed a few inputs. What are some of the most notable application areas of generative AI currently? And where do we imagine generative AI taking us in the future? Mostly what generative AI outputs these days are either a prototype or first draft that needs further refining. As the model gets smarter, we can expect these drafts to get better and close to a final product. The application areas of generative AI are actually far more than what I can mention or detail out in this video. However, let's capture a few interesting ones here. Copywriting. If you're looking for personalized web and email content for anything, be it your sales or marketing efforts, Generative AI will do it for you. But the current models are decently good at generating short to medium form of content, which are mostly good to use as first drafts, but they definitely require further iteration. Code generation. One way is by assisting developers in generating code automatically. This can save time, effort, especially when dealing with repetitive tasks. Generative AI can also suggest improvements to existing codes, improving the overall code structure and readability, which is critical for large software projects. Coding platforms are also benefiting from generative AI by using it to enhance their code analysis and debugging capabilities. If current models mature to be more advanced and capable, they will be able to generate even more complex and optimized codes. This could lead to a shift in the way we approach programming, with developers spending more time on high-level design and strategy while AI handles the implementation details. However, learning to prompt the right way may become the ultimate high-level programming language. Art Generation by training machine learning algorithms on large data sets of images, videos, and other visual media, generative AI can create new art pieces that mimic or expand upon existing styles and genres. The entire world of art history is now encoded in these models, so you can pretty much explore different themes and styles yourself, which would have otherwise taken a lifetime to master. Artists are using generative AI to input specific parameters such as color, texture, and style to produce a wide variety of unique and original artwork that artists can use as inspiration or a starting point for their own work. Isn't that fascinating? Gaming For all of you who are into the gaming world already know that the use of AI today in video games is mainly focused on human-machine interaction. 
For example, NPCs or non-playable characters can allow gamers to play a multiplayer game without waiting for other human players. Gamers can practice against AI bots to perfect their techniques and learn new skills. Voice chat in video games allow players to communicate in real time. However, the arrival of generative AI is paving the way for a whole new level of creativity in gaming. These days, gaming companies are using generative AI to allow game developers to procedurally generate content, which means that gaming content will remain ever fresh. Players can enjoy a game for years and experience it as new every time. Crazy, right? Minecraft and No Man's Sky are already using this technology to give a similar experience to their gamers. Generative AI is capable of enhancing the intelligence of NPCs and you can safely assume that in the future, generative AI can change the entire game world on the fly. Machine learning algorithms would be able to study a player's interaction with the game and update the gameplay accordingly based on his approach and strategy. Media or Advertising Imagine if you could automate agency work and optimize ad copies and creatives on the fly for your consumers. Well, Generative AI can do it for you. Generative AI is revolutionizing the way marketers can reach their target customers. Companies and even agencies are using the incredibly user-friendly AI tools these days for copywriting, for generating ideas for billboards, for image creation and whatnot. These tools can be trained to generate content that is relevant to the target audience and that reflects the brand's values and even messaging. Based on individual user data such as preferences, search history and online behavior, generative AI can be used to even personalize ad content. This allows brands to create more targeted and effective advertising campaigns. So these are some of the major domains where generative AI is literally transforming the way humans had to be involved earlier versus what machines can do for you now. Go ahead and explore for yourself how AI is playing an incredible role in various other domains like design, social media, marketing, finance, sales, and customer support. However, if you ask me, I feel that the human intervention part will always be there and AI cannot really fully replace a human's perspective or even skill set for that matter. With time, these AI models are becoming more iterative and humans will still need to work with refining and modifying the output to create more variations that are the right fit for any application. Hopefully, in the near future, we can expect the output from machines to get better and better and closer to a final product. But the truth is, we aren't there yet. Generative AI is still very early, which brings us to the most important part, risks associated with using AI tools. Yes, I'm talking about copyright infringement, trust and security concerns and ethical concerns. Generative AI is surely a powerful technology, but it finally boils down to how we make use of it. AI tools can create highly realistic output. This can make it difficult to determine whether a piece of content was created by a generative AI model or by a human, leading to potential copyright infringement issues. We need to be very cautious when we use it for content generation purposes. Generative AI these days are used to create deep fake videos and audios which could be highly realistic and which could pose a serious threat if used for manipulation or spreading misinformation causing high reputational damage. In the same way, we need to be aware that generative AI should not be used to create inappropriate or offensive content that could raise ethical concerns. And with that, I would like to wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it and finding out how AI is transforming our lives in 2023. As you already know, AI is driving innovation in various industries, is in high demand, being one of the fastest growing fields and surely a lucrative career to consider. So if you are someone who is interested to build a career in AI, do not forget to check out our postgraduate programs in artificial intelligence and machine learning. Links to the same are shared in the description of the video below. If you want to stay updated on more such informational videos on trending topics, subscribe to the Great Learning YouTube channel. And until next time, take care and stay informed.